Hi everyone, this is Said. Uh, welcome to British Food. My today's recipe is chicken and vegetable kitchery. And this recipe, particular recipe guys, is perfect for, for the babies 18 months onwards. From 18 months onwards. And let me show you what I did guys. Uh, I go here, have some mixed vegetables. Carrots, potato, broccoli and green pepper. I cut them into small pieces. And I go here about 200, 220 gram chicken, breast chicken. Also I got, cut them into small pieces. And also I go here some dal, uh, red lentils and mung dal and some rice as well. Um, I actually got 60, sorry, 80 ml each of this uh, dal and rice. I soak them for about 10, 15 minutes. And I go here 100 gram um, chopped onion. So let's start guys. Let's start the process guys. I'm gonna add 80 ml uh, cooking, sorry, uh, olive oil. And I'm going to add some bay leaf and one cinnamon stick. Then I'm going to add the onion. I'm not using any uh, garlic ginger paste or any freshly chopped garlic as well. Salt, I'm going to add one, uh, more than half teaspoon of salt. Now I'll let it cook guys and I'll close the lid. We'll wait till the onion gets softened guys, about at least 60-70%. If you add less oil guys, um, if it's too dry then you can add some water, then it will help to soften the onion. But I'm not adding any water because I've got enough um, oil. When it's big brown, the onion, then I will add the spice. Right now I'm going to add the spice. Spice I'm going to add half teaspoon of uh, turmeric powder and half teaspoon of co coriander powder. to add the chicken Now I'm going to add the vegetable, but before I add the vegetable guys, uh, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, black paper. Now I'm going to add the vegetable, it's already washed. I washed them before. Turn on the high heat now. Close the lid. Let it cook for about one to two minutes on low medium heat actually, not on high heat, low medium heat. Stir it again, you have to stir it up fully. Right now I'm going to add the lentils and the rice. Now 
Now make sure you you have your um, warm water ready, guys. Uh, the kettle water before you add the dial because we're gonna add the add the warm water now. Now, after you add the rice and lentils, guys, fry them with the vegetables for a few, few minutes, few seconds, at least one minute probably. Then, then you add the water. Don't add the water straight away after you add the rice and lentils. This is another trick, guys. Uh, you have to let them cook. Look, it will stick in the bottom, but don't worry about that. Just uh, stir it. This is a very important part guys because a lot of a lot of us I mean made me make a mistake that like after you add the rice and lentils straight away you add the right I mean water it's not good so if you cook them fry them for a few seconds yeah the rice and the lentils will get the flavor of the vegetables and the chickens now I will add the, uh, the water look as you can see it's already caramelized I'll add the water now I'm adding warm water from the kettle. Add a two cup and the one cup. I think that will be enough, probably for now. Yeah, for now I'll just leave it as it is. If I need to add any, any more water, if I see the rice is not done. And the, and the dough, then I, I might put more water, guys. Cook it on low, uh, low medium heat, and but you have to stir it occasionally, guys. Otherwise, it might get stuck. I mean, stuck into the bottom. Otherwise, it might get stuck into the bottom. Let's check, guys. The water is still fine guys, uh, let's see, I'm going to cook it on low heat now. Alright guys, let's check. Right now. It's already done guys, the rice is also softened as well. Uh, what you can do basically, uh, you, can, you can blend them into the blender. So that's it guys, my kitchen is ready. Well guys, my vegetable and chicken kichuri is done. Um, as you can see, I blended this for my son. I'm gonna give it to my son, and um, these will, I will store for about one day or two days, probably, uh, for him. Uh, he always have it for lunch. So that's it, guys. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching, guys. And um, if you if you have any question regarding this recipe, guys, please leave a comment below, and also. Um, if your son or if your baby have any medical condition guys make sure you ask your doctor um, before you give this to your little one so that's it um, thank you very much guys thanks for watching please like comment and share thank you very much bye bye